Hello listeners, welcome to our first program in our series, Let's Learn Geography, which is produced for grade 8 learners and anybody else who has an interest in the subject. My name is Ronald Krotz. Today we learn about the internal structure of the earth. Please have a pen and a notebook ready so that you can make notes of the important points. And don't forget to take part in the course at the end of the program. We often wonder what lies beneath the earth's surface. I hope today's program will shed a little light on the different structures that make up the internal structure of the earth. At the end of the program, you should be able to identify on a simple diagram the earth's crushed mental and core. Describe also the basic composition of each layer. You know what, Nicole? Last holiday, I went to Tsis in southern Namibia and visited a place where there is hot water coming from the ground. But there was no fire or someone who came to pour hot water there. Do you think perhaps there's something heating up that water beneath the surface? I also heard that there's a place like that in Bantuk. Do you think there's a fire under the earth? Wow, I really have no idea. Maybe we should ask Mr. Krotz. Good morning, class. Megan and Nicole, please sit down. What is the matter? Sorry, sir. We were just discussing something related to what we're learning now. I was telling Nicole that I saw a place where there is hot water coming from underground, but there was no fire at the place. Do you think there is fire underneath the earth's surface, sir? I also heard of a place like that in Vantuk, Mr. Krot. Thank you, Nicole. All right, class. That is a good way to introduce our discussion for today, which is the internal structure of the earth. In weather studies, we learn that there are layers that make up the atmosphere and that as you go high, higher, it becomes colder. Well, the opposite happens when you go deep into the earth. It becomes hotter and hotter. But that makes no sense. Why would it be warmer if the sun that gives us heat is so far away? Does this also mean that the earth produces heat? That's exactly the point, Nico. The earth has different internal layers. The first layer that covers the earth on top is called the crust. The crust is divided into two types of crust. These being the continental crust, seal or silicon and aluminium, making up the dry part of the earth and the oceanic crust or sema, it contains silicon and magnesium, it covered by oceans. It is the thinnest layer, 10 to 65 kilometers, and it consists of the lightest elements. The materials or rocks are solid. Of all the layers, it had cooled down the most. Oh, but what lies under the crust, sir? Wait, let me try. I think that's where the heat comes from. Sir, I don't understand. I always thought the earth was a solid ball and absolutely nothing more. Okay, remember, uh, Nicole, Megan said that she visited a place where there is hot water coming from underground. Under the crust, there is the mantle. It is the thickest layer of the earth with the thickness of about 3,500 kilometers. The temperature is very hot at the mantle. It ranges from plus minus 1,200 to 3,500 degrees Celsius. Because of the high temperatures, the materials in the mantle are semi-molten or semi-salted, melting. The mantle consists of heavier, denser elements such as magnesium and iron. Aha, uh -huh. so that is where the heat that heats up the water at these places come from. I think so too. This is the last structure in the earth, right sir? No, Nicole. 
there is still one more structure that is divided into two parts. It is called the core. It is found at the center of the earth. The core consists of the outer core and the inner core. It is the innermost layer of the earth and it is the hottest layer with temperatures ranging between 3,700 to 4,500 degrees Celsius. The outer core is liquid. Because of the extremely high temperatures, the inner core is solid. Despite the extremely high temperatures, because of the compression of all the layers above it, the core consists of the heaviest elements, iron and nickel. Ah, now I understand. This was very informative. Since it's my turn to conclude the lesson, let me go do it now. Please, before I forget everything, we have learned a lot today. Yes, go ahead, Nicole. Today, I have learned that the internal structure of the earth consists of the crust, the mantle, and the core. Also, the crust covers earth on top and consists of the oceanic and continental crust. It is solid and it is the thinnest layer. Furthermore, under the crust there is the mantle. It is the thickest layer of the earth and it is in a molten state. At the center of the earth there is the core. The core consists of the outer core and the inner core. It is the innermost layer of the earth and it is the hottest layer with temperatures ranging between 3700 to 4500 degrees Celsius. The outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid. Very good, Nicole. Very good. And that brings us to the end of today's program. But before we say goodbye, here is your question for the day. Which internal layer is found at the center of the earth? Is it A, the crust, B, the core, or C, the mantle? That is your question. So, from myself, Ronald Krotz, the program developer, Jul van Harte, and the Namcall production crew, thanks again for listening. Until tomorrow, take care. This program was brought to you by Namcall with funding from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, and the Commonwealth of Learning. <laughs>